Governor Walker was trending on social media on and off throughout the day. Courtney Garris talked to an expert about what the governor needs to do to reach voters using his digital and social strategies. Walker's campaign is reaching out through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even Snapchat, a full court press. But is he on the right track? It's politics in the digital age, informing and inspiring voters through social media. Twitter reacted very kindly to almost every word. They were hanging on every word that he said. Belter and Lincoln social media expert Katie Klein has been tracking Walker's presence, seeing his first spike with the initial tweets this morning. He was trending again tonight when he took the stage. At last check, there were more than 90,000 tweets that had already been logged with reference to Scott Walker. I would expect that to be, you know, well over 100,000 by now. Most of those tweets clearly divided. Provided, but Klein did notice a sentiment swing during Walker's speech. Where people would say, you know, we weren't expecting Scott Walker to be this eloquent. We weren't expecting him to be this polished. Moving forward, Klein mentioned there is no room for errors, like that all in tweet that published early last Friday. I hope that there is experience on his team because you can't go into um, a political season like this and be inexperienced, especially on social media. Expect the social media firestorm to continue as Walker hits the campaign trail tomorrow. Courtney Garish, today's TMJ4. Governor Walker will travel from South Carolina to Iowa over the next week. Our Charles Benson will be along for that ride.